Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small Engines. I've been seeing around the internet lately a lot of talk about whether or not you actually cause damage to your chainsaw or any small engine by running too much oil in the oil mixture. One side says it's better to run a thicker oil mixture, so you know, 30 or, or 40 to 1 uh, versus 50 to 1 um, because it creates a better lubrication of the, um, of the piston and cylinder. The other side of the argument is that the oil then, if there's too much used, it actually causes a lean condition and you have the potential to overheat your engine, um, kind of counterproductive to what uh, the original idea is by running more oil. So I've come up with a real world test that I'm going to show you today. I have my steel MS260. I haven't run it yet this year. It's currently empty, no fuel in it. I have my new infrared thermometer. I have two pre-mixed jars of 25 to 1 and 50 to 1. Um, I just mixed them myself using steel premium uh, oil and 91 no ethanol gas, 400 milliliters in each container, which should fill up this tank nicely. And my intention is to do a few tests here to see if there really is a temperature discrepancy between running a leaner oil mixture or a richer oil mixture. So the first test I'm going to do is an idle test. As I said, this is empty. I'm going to use the 50 to 1 gas. I'm going to put it in the chainsaw and let it idle for about three minutes. At the end of the three minutes, I'm going to take a temperature measure off the muffler and a temperature measure off of the cylinder. I'm going to then do three hard cuts through some oak that I have. I'm going to do shut the saw off and immediately check the muffler and then the cylinder. I'll then remove the fuel, add the 25 to 1 fuel to the gas tank, let the engine idle for another three minutes to make sure that I do have that new fuel in there and that everything is out of the fuel line. I'll take the same measurements from the same spot on the muffler and the cylinder, do the same three cuts in the same piece of wood, and then measure the muffler and the cylinder. I hope to put an end to this argument today here in this video, so let's get started. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side of the two fuels I'm going to be using in this test. 25 to 1 on the left, 50 to 1 on the right. You can see that it is darker on the left. So there are 400 milliliters of fuel mixed with 8 milliliters of oil over here and 16 milliliters of oil over here to uh, achieve the 25 to 1 and 50 to 1 for the test. The oil that I'm using is steel premium two-stroke engine oil. Uh, recommended from the manufacturer to run 50 to 1. Uh, the chainsaw that I'm using is my uh, MS260 from steel as well and the temperature gauge is a Tiswall infrared laser thermometer. All right so I have the 50 to 1 here. About three quarters of the way full. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna try the thermometer. Two spots I'm going to measure during this test are the cylinder head and the muffler. So I'm gonna just develop a consistent spot to shoot at. 19.3, just to replicate that. 19.4, and then the muffler, 19.1, 19.5. Nineteen point one, so it's nineteen point one degrees Celsius outside. Nineteen point three again on the cylinder head. So those are the two spots that I'm going to be measuring once the saw is warm. Let's get it started.
top of the muffler is 62.5. So 62 and 61. All right, now let's cut some wood. I'm gonna do three cuts of this oak top down. And I'm not going to push it too hard. I'm just going to let it uh, let it do the job. Okay, now I'm going to cut three quick high speed cuts through here, take the temperature again. Okay, now I'm going to switch the gas out. I'm going to go with 25 to 1 now. Just for argument's sake, I'm going to run this dry. So now that it's out of fuel, I'm going to let everything cool down. The engine and muffler, I want to make sure are at that uh, 19 degree ambient temperature before I start the second part of the test. Nice and cool. Let's get the 25 to 1 fuel in. This can, 25 to 1. Make sure you guys can see that. It's darker, you can still see it's considerably darker than the 50 to 1. And again, we'll start the three minute idle to make sure that everything is running through that fuel line, that there's no excess 50 to one left over. That was dry and drained out as you saw. Let's get it started. a lot more. 
69.2 on the cylinder head, 67.3 on the muffler. And I don't know if you guys can see with the, the amount of sun that's here, but certainly a lot more smoke. All right, let's try it on the oak. All right, now let's do the three cookie test. So there we have it everybody. I'll just post the results here and you can see that a chainsaw with a 25 to 1 oil mixture versus a 50 to 1 oil mixture has been hotter in all three of my tests. First, the idling test that I did, uh, that I did here. Second, the large cuts. And third, in the small quick cuts. In all three of the tests, the temperatures were higher with the 25 to 1 fuel mixture versus the 50 to 1. Okay, so here are the results. The idle test, 50 to 1 and 25 to 1. Uh, the temperature of the cylinder and the muffler, you can see there was an 8 degree increase in temperature on the cylinder when running 25 to 1, and a 5 degree increase on temperature on the muffler when running 25 to 1. Similarly, there was an increase for the large log test. The cylinder temperature at 50 to 1 was 144, and the muffler 340 and the cylinder temperature at 25 to 1 was a 29 degree celsius increase and an 18 degree celsius increase when measuring the muffler on the 25 to 1 fuel mixture and then on the three cookie tests the three quick cuts there cylinder temperature 50 to 1 was 144 and muffler 295 and then when running 25 to 1 it was a four degree increase in celsius to 148 and a five degree increase from 295 to 300 um, when measuring the muffler. So I would say those results are pretty conclusive. In every one of these tests, there was an increase in temperature. And I think probably the large increase on the large log test was due to the amount of load that the engine was, um, was put under for the large long cut. One of the other things I noticed too when I was cutting the large log and then the smaller log with the 25 to 1 fuel mixture, not only was it um, producing more oil smoke, obviously, because the oil mixture is twice that of the 50 to 1, but I also noticed it just didn't have as much power. It didn't feel like it was uh, just raring to go or really wanting to cut through that wood. It felt a little bit more sluggish. My guess is that the oil plays a factor in that as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I had a great time putting it together for you. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I try to respond to every single comment. Uh, we have almost 3,000 subscribers here on the channel now, which is pretty amazing. So thank you so much for that. 
And uh, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll keep coming up with some, uh, some video ideas for you all. Take care.